Classic Car TV. All right, it's early Sunday morning, and we've got the Saturday results. I'm Rob Sass for Haggerty Classic Car TV, along with Randy Nonnenberg from BringAtrailer.com and Dave Kinney, publisher of the Haggerty Price Guide. Uh, Dave, let's lead off with Gooding. Some pretty stunning results from Gooding and Company. Yeah, Gooding did. Uh, they had 115 cars sold out of 118 offered. That's 97 percent. 39.6 million dollars uh, versus 35 million last year. Uh, they had seven 1 million dollar plus car sales as well. Top seller, Ferrari Cal Spider. Randy, can you tell us about the car? Yes, the 1959 long wheelbase California Spider was a car in white that uh, they featured really prominently and we're, we're hoping probably would be one of the largest sales of the day and it did uh, carry through. Um, it is an open headlight car and a long wheelbase car in white, which we were kind of waiting to see how that would yeah. perform. Um, and at the uh, 3.90 um, sale price, uh, that is a pretty strong result for that car given those options. Yeah, white with blue leather, kind of a strange color combination for that car. But uh, anyway, the real story tonight, and I didn't think I'd be saying this, uh, was it Barrett Jackson, Dave? Yeah, Barrett Jackson, 247 cars sold of 250 offered, 99%. $43.8 million. Uh, now through Saturday, they're at $85 million, $9 million sales. That's versus, you know, the $85 million is versus uh, $65 million in 2011. $20 million above where they were last year, right yep. now. Into the top sales, Tucker. What can you tell me about that? Yeah, the blue Tucker that was there uh, went for an amazing amount. It went for two point nine one five million, which is far beyond what we were expecting um, for that model. Yeah, Dave, yeah. I thought Tuckers were million dollar cars. Well, they were. Um, you know, they, for a long time they were eight hundred thousand dollar cars, and I think we all kind of mentally have them figured in at a million, but not three million. I just don't know what's going on there. I guess we'll have to wait for the next sale to see. You know, fifty one cars built, a few less than that available. Um, you know, it, it's supply chasing demand, demand chasing supply, whatever. But uh, it could just be there was a lot of exuberant bidding there. Maybe that's part of it as well. Yeah, when's the last time you saw bids getting advanced? In two hundred thousand dollar increments. It's been a long time, and it was uh, it was an exciting sale. And I mean, the room was full of uh, uh, you know, full of the kind of vibrancy we haven't seen at Barrett Jackson in a few years. Yep. Well, Russo and Steele had another workmanlike night, Dave. Um, one hundred and nineteen cars of uh, one seventy six uh, offered. They're getting it done at uh, sixty eight percent right now. Nine point six four million uh, is the total through Saturday. Seventeen million dollars. Uh, they're uh, seventeen million nine in two thousand eleven, so they're close enough. They're within uh, just a little, a uh, little bit from where they were last year. Yep, the top seller, a very special Corvette. Yeah, that Corvette L eighty eight was the top seller at six hundred and eighty seven and a half thousand dollars. Yep, very attractive C three L eighty eight. Very nice. Uh, last but not least, silver out at uh, Fort McDowell at the casino. $2.95 million versus $3.4 million. Now they're done on Saturday. They used to have a Sunday sale. They figured they were just doing a lot of resales and stuff on Sunday, so they figured they'd just cut back one day. 175 cars sold out of 267 offered, 66%. Now I have to say this for all those numbers, all the numbers we talked about, they're preliminary figures and they're subject to change on all the offers houses there can be some cars that come in afterwards that are uh, sold after uh, after the hammer drops so all these things are a little bit subject to change now you were out there uh, as well Rob what was the feeling like out there I was a lot of energy and uh, people having a very very good time the weather was nice and I got to tell you here's another thing that I didn't think I'd be seeing tonight the top seller at silver was a Fossel Vega Randy yeah the HK 500 that they had out there was a bit of an unusual uh, lot for them in their you know typical group of cars and uh, when it came through, it, it brought the bidding and ended up being their top seller um, at 93000 It's It's interesting to note about the Fassel that it was sold for more than the four-speed car at Gooding. That really is, or that uh, you've got a Fassel at Gooding and a Fassel at Silver on the one at Silver does better than what it's getting, but uh, pretty interesting stuff. It's an interesting time right now. Uh, we're seeing uh, more vibrancy out of these sales, uh, especially out of Barrett Jackson. We've seen in a long, long time. Uh, I was out there, uh, uh, Jay Leno sold a tractor for $565,000. All the money went to the Fisher House. Uh, which is a military charity, a very, very good charity. Uh, but the crowd was, uh, you know, it, it, the place just filled up like you wouldn't believe when uh, when Leno was there. So lots and lots of excitement, lots of excitement on these 5,000 series cars that they've had. 
Gooding, uh, everybody, uh, you know, having a, a pretty, pretty good weekend to a great weekend. And I, I would say, I have to say this, the excitement's back. A yeah. couple of years, it hasn't been quite as, you know, quite as electric every time in every place, but it seems much more so today. Well, the numbers bear that out. We're in fact way ahead of where we were last year at this time, right, Dave? Yeah, 175 million total versus 152, uh, you know, $20 million difference is what we have. And also, interestingly, the number of cars uh, that have sold uh, has gone down, so the value of the cars have gone up. Last year, uh, we had 2,159 sold at this point. Uh, this year, 1,959. So all the statistics are pointing to more money uh, you know, for some of those cars, and that includes those $20,000 cars as well. Some of those $20,000 cars are looking more like $24,000 cars, which is a very good sign. Uh, and then the big dollar cars, you know, those, those, uh, three million dollar tuckers can skew it a little bit, but, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of vibrancy in the marketplace. Yep. Well, those are the Saturday results in Scottsdale. I'm Rob Sass for Haggerty Classic Car TV with Randy Donenberg and Dave Kinney.